So we're staging right now just south of Lake Chelan. Uh, we were hoping to get to Wenatchee, uh, but we ended up having one of the cars break an axle. And so we happened to break down at this campsite that we're at right now and uh, couldn't have asked for a better spot. We have access to bathrooms, running water, cover if we needed it. So we, we really lucked out uh, where we broke down. Um, fortunately, it was pretty straightforward. Rich, Rich used his winch and did the jack and forest. So um, Rich is pretty dialed in. He does that professionally. So he, he had it all figured out exactly what needed to be done. And I have friends over here. Well, I have friends I text and they text their friends and text their friends and Tracy Parkers came through and saved the day for us, gave us his axle, and uh, I can't say enough good things about this community. That's what it's all about. Uh, we're gonna continue to head south. We're gonna hit Wenatchee probably midday, early afternoon. We're uh, hoping to maybe get about 200 miles in a day. Um, you know, if it was up to me and we weren't trying to survive, quote unquote, um, you know, I'd try to get 300 miles in a day, but um, you know, the nature of it is that we break stuff, we go hard, and uh, things happen also. And when you're out trying to get the views in, things like that, it, it holds you back. So we're about 150 miles a day right now. Um, we might be able to pick up a few more miles today than we uh, did last time, but um, we're looking to do about, uh, yeah, about 150 to 200 miles a day. I don't foresee everybody, as I think at this point, I'm not sure that there's a weak link in the group. Now that we kind of got these couple of hiccups out of the way, we should be we should be meeting Ian in Wenatchee. Hopefully, he's all dialed in and ready to go by the time we get there. We can get hooked back up, and he can join the group again. You've been out of the game for a couple days. You think we're gonna get you on the road today? I'll tell you in an hour. <laughs> so you've been on this a couple hours. What happened? Uh, Taco an arm, and uh, really didn't do much to do it. So that's kind of a disappointment. But the uh, 
What was the deal with having to take the whole front end apart? Um, you got to clear a lot of space. These A-arms, for some reason, they come forward to come off. So you have to take the whole front bumper off on an RC, the front bulkhead off on an R X X XRS. The winch and everything all. Yeah, I'm good. Well, let's get her done. Let's get on the road. Thoughts and dreams, the 